Hi, welcome back to Box of Delights. I'm interrupting the latest series just to give you a uh, a live play. Um, this is not going to be something for people who don't know how to play the game. So we're not going to learn the rules. We're just going to play through the game uh, of Renegade, um, designed by myself, Ricky Royal, book Box of Delights. And what we're going to do is just take the opportunity just to see some action. Uh, we're going to play, I think, we're going to take on Logi. And um, we'll take on Logi perhaps with two Renegades. And maybe we'll try Rupert Stans and... Um, why don't we try Angel Nitrate? Let's try Angel Nitrate. And we're going to use um, the fragmented servers. That's a good idea. Uh, into Rupert, there we go, Rupert. And the idea is to give you a sense of how this plays with more than one renegade. Uh, with the fragmented servers, we're going to throw in uh, the, uh, the boosters. So we've got the latest two boosters. We've got uh, Fire and Chaos and Christmas at the Hat Shack. So they're going to give us a few more um, variables in terms of countermeasures and advanced command cards. Okay. Um, on the back of the rulebook is a sequence of play, so you can always refer to this if you if you're not sure what's going on. All right. Put that back away. We don't need that. get things set up here. So, give our Renegades their starting decks. I've got these sleeves, so apologies for any glare. Uh, you don't really need these player cards after a while once you get used to the players and their abilities. Okay, um, so this is really, um, all you really need this for is their ability. Set up the hack shack. I'm going to try and run through this setup as quickly as possible. Shuffling cards is not that interesting for people. Okay. Countermeasures. I'm going to play, I think. With the intel phase being when you reveal the countermeasure you're going to take on. So we'll just put those to one side for now. Alright, let's shuffle these up. So playing with the fragmented side. Um, so kind of shuffle these blindly if you can. And then we'll start drawing our servers. Uh, Lugi says, add two sparks to every closed partition and one spark to every odd numbered partition and face. So... Yeah, during setup, he's encouraging you to go for an open network. Um, but we still want to be a little bit mindful that the closed network is better. All right, so here we go. We're starting here. So remember, we're red and purple. So Rupert's going to start here. We've got Rupert's access point out first. And there we go. We've got angels next. So let's go for something like this. All right. Let's see, tricky. I'm going to try and close down red salvation as much as possible. I'm not worried about having lots of stuff closed during setup. And then lastly, okay, I left that a bit tricky for myself because um, I can't close this one in. a mistake. So, remember your masterclass, I'm trying to encourage you to close down as many position, uh, partitions on faith and salvation as possible. And I'm going to be stuck with two open here. One, two, 
or five. Now, maybe we'll just play this way. Maybe we'll just play this way. All right, so we're spread out with a nice long network. That's okay. Um, it's gonna be with two, with two renegades. You know, for the soloist, a really close network is good. Uh, for two renegades, we can open up a little bit further. So I guess this is okay. All right, so Angel, she's gonna start here with a red contaminant. Rupert um, is here with a root kit. A root kit's gonna be wild. And we're gonna set up the hack shack. One, two, three, four. All right, microbionics has come out, which is really good. Nidam's ship is going to help us in this environment as well. Uh, and then we've got a card from Christmas at the Hack Shack as well. Vulnerability Scanner. Um, so here, that's helping us with a neural net. All right, let's take our data notes. So we're playing two Renegades, so we've got three empty access points. So we're going to go for three data nodes. And I think... I'm going to put them all here with Angel. Okay. Normally when I'm doing my playthrough series I'll cut in, I'll cut and zoom in and do lots of um, zoom edits and stuff, but with a live player it's just um, and usually we're just going to go for it as it is. Okay, uh, add two sparks to every closed partition. Right, this is going to be hard because we've got a lot of them. But they should all be down here through the middle, including Angel's access points. So we've got a lot of sparks during setup, but I'm kind of hoping that we can deal with them quickly and we're going to benefit from having a closed network. All right, I think that's all of our closed partitions. And then one spark to every odd numbered partition of faith. So we need three more. So we've got partition five, partition three, partition one. So already we've got a guardian here right from the get go. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, that's not closed, take that away. Yep, I think we're good. All right. We're ready to rock and roll. So Angel's gonna be alpha player. Let's give her five cards. Um, new spark step. So we've got um, Intel phase first. Rupert his hand. We can take a mulligan if we wish. Um, no, Angel's not going to. She doesn't want a guardian there. Rupert's got some good cards. All right. So we're okay. We're happy. Okay. Intel phase then. So we want uh, copper count measure. Don't use sim stage one, that's out of the game. So uh, I'm not very good at putting things away straight, so um, there we go. we're all good, we're all good. There's my gold, that's sim stage one, uh, two and three, there's my gold, there's my silver. Okay, so we're going to randomly choose a uh, copper count measure for the doing the intel phase. Now if we ever do a uh, the, the, um, second edition, I'm probably going to suggest you do this during the intel phase instead of drawing them during setup. This is the trouble with sleeve cards, they, they, they wobble all over the place. Right, let's see what we get. We've got alert to our presence. Okay. Alert to our presence says have a neural hub on for solar player, one server, two servers, 
for two players. So our focus is going to be neural hubs. We don't have to do that, remember. Our aim is to, to win the game. Okay, next is a start of turn step. Nothing's going to happen here. Um, Logi just has some instructions about where he places sparks during um, the rolling for sparks. Okay, um, as it goes, we um, yeah two sets. Um, as it goes, we skip the new spark step on Angel's turn because she's first player, first turn of the game. Let's have a look at our hand. So what I'd like to do is get rid of those um, get rid of those sparks before they cause any trouble. So Logie's going to place uh, flares on the highest number of partition without a gu guardian and with the fewest viruses on the current player's server. So when it comes to because um, that's quite deterministic then what we know is when it comes to Rupert's turn he's going to place and we're playing um, copper so it's one spark on Faith, Rupert's current partition. Um, so it's going to go here on, on his current partition, on partition number six, uh, unless we put a virus there. So, But we don't mind. If we put a virus here, that's fine. Uh, next one down is number five, which is over here. So that's cool. We'll just leave that. Um, for Angel, she's currently sitting on Salvation. So uh, there's a virus here, so we wouldn't get to place one here anyway. It would go down to number five, which is over here. All right. So if we leave that virus here, we're protecting this partition from Logie's madness, if you like. All right. But I don't like those um, sparks there. Um... Boo -boo -boo. Um, although Angel's protecting that, for as long as she's standing here, she's protecting it anyway. But what can we do? I would like to have turned that into um, a port, but I can't. So maybe let's think. Um, do I want to do any upgrading? I think microbionics is one that I like the look of. So I'm tempted to just upgrade my hand as a first thing and grab microbionics which costs red, yellow, blue, green. So I've got red, yellow, blue, green. Um, I'll throw away interrupt. Um, discard these. Grab my Cabronics. Which allows me to delete one spark from my partition and every partition adjacent. So I'm going to play that straight away and get rid of these three. I'm happy with that. Okay, and then I've got three green, so I can do some shifting um, if I like. So I might actually do that. Um, so I might just do a single shift, um, just to push this away, just to push this one away to somewhere where it's not going to cause any trouble, um, and I'll save focus. Draw five cards, one, two, three, four, five, and we head on to Rupert's turn. Okay, so start a turn step, nothing happens. Um, restock the Hack Shack, and we get Emit EMP, which is an awesome card, love it. And then we roll for Sparks, and of course we don't roll, we place on one Spark, current server, highest petition with no viruses and no guardian, so here. Oh, and it's gonna go as a flare. So unfortunately, it's gonna lock out that root kit, so. Yeah, maybe we should have tried to shift that virus over here. Um, yeah, that's a pity. All right, let's see what we can do. Um, yeah, that would have been a better move for Angel, wouldn't it? Just try to get a virus over here to protect that root kit. Never mind. Let's see. Let's try what we got in the hack shack. Yeah, nothing really there at the moment. I could get emit EMP. Let's do that. And 
not sure that I'm going to use. Yeah. Let's get rid of Sabotage. We'll grab a bit the MP. Um, I probably want to shift that flare away so I can do some uploading or move. And we do want viruses, we do want viruses. So let's see, do I move? No, let's, let's use uh, bypass um, to shift this away. Then we can upload one virus and one replicant. Do that. Remember, we are trying to create neural hubs, so we're in a bit of trouble here already. We've got to create one neural hub. But I want to try and get the power of the modify going. This is the thing. Protect some partitions, do some uploading. Okay. Angel, new spark is going to go on partition 5 of Salvation, because there's a virus here, so it's going to go here. And we've got some green. Um, so I'm actually going to swap Decrypt for Vulnerability Scanner. That's cool. And then we're going to switch data scan out for request intercept. Um, hmm. Then I could do this and upload two um, upload two uplinks, which means I need one more um, next turn. I think that's doable. Yeah, upload two uplinks. It's just uplink and loading like crazy at the minute. Just keeping things under control. I think I'm going to um, ignore this card, keep this one. Yeah. And then um, back to Rupert Stands. Okay, Christmas tree is good and replicant jar is good. So I'm definitely keen for that. It's going to be expensive for me. Um, the Christmas tree is just amazing. Amazing. But then I'm going to fail the countermeasure if I do that, I think. So which do I do? Um... Flip. Replicant jar is also really good. So actually, wow, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to take these four, red, yellow, green, blue. I'm going to get rid of um, the red, because I find the yellow stronger. Discard these by Christmas tree. Okay, then I'm going to use the three wild. Um, 
and a crit. Hmm. Or I could move. No, I'm going to use the three wild and the crit. Throw the crit. Three wild is three yellow and buy a replicant jar. Discard this. I'm going to keep this for next turn. Okay, I think I forgot the new spark though. Um, it should go here. Yep, I did. Okay, um, it goes here because we're on faith. The highest partition without a virus is partition 5. Um, that goes down as a flare. Um, I forgot that should be a flare as well. That's right, isn't it? Rupert's first turn. This one, then Hetty's, then Rupert's. Now we're back to he uh, Angel, sorry. And then Angel's going to place another flare um, on partition of five. Restock the hatch shack. Okay, we've got Suno Bracelet. And that re um, replicates another card's commands. And another light and ship. Okay, those two flares are dangerous. But we've got to focus on. Um, see, Rupert can move down here, replicant jar these three. And then install. Um, so Angel just needs one uplink from here. One. Oh, there's no. That's bad news. One. Ouch. She can't install, she hasn't got enough. Ah, man. Unless Rupert can install twice. Let's see. So, Rupert can move twice, flip, install. Um, then he'd need to upload a green, and he'd need another green, so he's one green short. So we could do, yeah, he's one green or one wild short, so we still need to upload one. So Angel needs to upload one. Or uh, holy, what have we got over here? We've got an item ship. See no bracelet. Let's grab this. Let's discard this and grab the no bracelet. Now we've got two green. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we're going to play um, Chino Bracelet to play this card with another one to have this card produce the same commands as the other card. So now we've got one, two green. I need one more green to upload another uplink, and I don't have it. Um, but I can throw any three cards for one green. And so. I'm just going to toss Data Steel and grab Nylam ship. I'm going to throw away these three for a green plus Wild Wild because of Ceno Bracelet. It gives me three green, which means I can upload another uplink here. And I want to move. I'm not on an open partition, unfortunately, so I can't nigh damn ship over here. But I do want these things to be on a different server. So I'm tempted to move up here. I'm 
with night of ship. Okay, Rupert, let's see what you can do. So, we've got a flare coming down over here. Three sparks makes a guardian, but at least one of them is a flare, so it's actually a firewall. Not good, we've got two on the board now. I'm hoping as we build up and get stronger, we can deal with those. Um, and this is why the fragmented server is really hard with Lugi. On normal servers, you can kind of push viruses around and force the sparks where you want them to go. Uh, but this partition was a long way away uh, from where we are. Restock the hack shack, something useful might come up in here. Um, reset spark is very good and emit EMP. So what we want to do is we need to move um, move twice which we can do by swapping data steel for either data shift or NIDAM. I'm going to take NIDAM Um, data shifts gives me two movement. Nidam lets me move to any open partition. So I can place, I can play Nidam uh, to move over here. I can take stuff with me. So I might actually take this virus. Then I just need to use focus to install a neural hub. Swap these three greens for a neural hub. Then I just need to move, which I can use. Um, I'm actually going to swap infiltrate for a MIT EMP. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm going to use emit EMPs one while to move. Or I could use this and grab reset spark. Yeah, let's do that. I'm actually quite happy with the way things are. So, I'm actually going to use red, red, red. Red, red, red. Um, throw away data scan. Discard this. Grab reset spark. Okay. Because this lets me delete a guardian. But I'm not ready to do it yet. But this is for next time. So I'm just going to use one wild to move. Down here. Uh, sorry, it's Rupert. I'm going to bring that virus with me. Um, no, I'm going to leave the virus here with Rupe, uh, with Angel, I think. Then I'm going to use um, Replicant Jar to flip any number of contaminants on your server. So I didn't even have to move into here, actually. I could have moved anywhere. Here's good. I need to be here because I need to do an install. Okay. I can flip that to a yellow if I wish, which I might actually do. Because modifier is so strong. Um, but viruses do control Logi. Yeah, let's keep it as a virus. I can control Logi then. And then I can install with memory still. So we'll turn that into a neural hub. Now we're actually very strong with two neural hubs on the board because we can control salvation and freedom, the blue server. All right, job done. Um, okay, let's see. Any 
Uh, 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 countermeasures phase. So viruses will fight back, nothing going to happen, there are no shared partitions. Um, success or failure, so alert to our presence. We have for two players, we need a neural herb on two servers. Bingo. Alright, success. Is she getting senile? She knew we were here and yet we were able to steal an advantage from her. Success. Add one data port anywhere on the network. Okay. So where are we going to put this data port? Um, I think we want to put it somewhere where it's safe and somewhere central. Right here with Rupert, I think. Okay. Uh, spark movements, green down. So the highest, so six go to five. Then we've got yellow up. So one is empty. Two is here, so two goes to three. Purple down. So six, six, six is here. Six, five's got a file, firewall. Four has a spark. So four down to three. Ah, oh, that's bad news. So four goes down to three, which um, creates a spark. Two, uh, two flares on two. And then, this is why movement arrows are so bad, blew up. So one, two, uh, three, we've got here two, three. So they're going up to position four, which is here. No problem. Right. So guardians are always a threat with these movement arrows. Yeah, so look out for them. Okay, that's copper done. And there's only one copper countermeasure. So we get the 25 point victory token. You don't have to play with the victory point tokens if you don't want to. But why not, if you can. There's our, there's our prize. Awesome. Alright. Um, next, there's the refresh phase. So we shuffle up our decks and grab ourselves Five more cards. We're doing okay. We've got some control on the board now, which is nice, but I don't like the large number of flares and guardians around the place. Five for Angel. Five for Rupert. been able to upload root kits yet for Rupert. Uh, refresh the hack shack. Ginger cool. Digital tattoo. Iteration. And uh, data shift. Okay, ginger cool is not good against Logie because we don't roll for sparks. But it does mean we can swap two green for a green and a purple. Alright, so two cognition for a cognition on the leadership. Right, now we're in silver, we're heading back to the intel phase. There's going to be two of these with Logie. So let's grab the first one. We'll give him a shuffle. Let's see what we get. Um, okay, we have oh, viral overload. One or more virus, vir viruses on every open partition of virtue, virtue and salvation. So this is going to be tough, but let's see what we can do. Okay. Start of turn and restock the hatch shack. New sparks. So, Angel, you're going to be putting one on uh, Freedom 6. Um, Rupert's not in a good place uh, because he's going to put one here and that's going to put another firewall down. 
So, and we really need to get some viruses in there as well. So let's see, let's see. Um, I want a neural hub. Firewall. Um, I do know that Rupert can destroy that guardian. So maybe he's okay. So I think what we need to do is some crazy, crazy uploading. All right. Um, we'll swap bypass for digital tattoo. Um, sorry, it's two sparks. I forgot. It's two. It's two, it's two. There's two flares here. Yeah, Logie's tough. This is why he's four star. Very tough. Um, mm. I can get ginger cool. I might actually swap Ginger Cool out. It gives me one green and one leadership when used as a shot and buy Ginger Cool. So let's do that. That gives me another leadership at least. What I'd like to do is um, upload viruses. So I'm going to use a read request intercept to place this card plus two others from my hand on the bottom of my deck and draw back up. So I'll do that, draw two more. Okay, microbionics, delete one spark from your partition every partition adjacent. So this I like. Um, so let's start with that. I'm on a neural hub, so I'm going to act as if my avatar was standing here. Um, here, no, blue, blue partition, here, no, I think here, alright, so we'll get rid of those three, um, I could have gone for these two, but I'm going to go for those. Fortunately, I haven't got enough to upload. Yeah. Let's put that back. Let's put those back. No, I think we're cool. I think we're cool. Um, one, two, three, four, I can't buy that. I can't buy that. I'm going to upload a virus. One, two, three, and I'm going to put it um, on a blue partition. Yeah. I think oh, Lugi is really tough um, on fragmented. It's really hard. So I don't envisage getting very much further. On fragmented, but hey, I wanted to show you how it works, and um, yeah, it can be it can be tricky. That's just the way it is. Okay, restock. Oh, exotic software is good. Uh, two flares are coming in. Um, they're going to red five. So here, that creates a firewall. That's okay. Then the next lot are going to go to red four, which is here. Um, the problem we got is this partition here. 
we're going to get a firewall here and then two flares here. But that's all right. Angel can deal with that, I think. <laughs> Man. All right, we could we could get exotic software or iteration here to delete any two contaminants in your position. Add an install, add one installation or iteration. Remember, I'm trying to upload viruses, so a propagator would be awesome. So let's get exotic software. Um, oh, I'm going to toss memory steel, discard this, grab exotic. I'm then going to um, upload a replicant. I'm then going to use exotic software to delete any two contaminants and install an installation. I'll get rid of these two. Put a propagator here. And then bypass, I'll have to save for next time. Right, come on team, this is really tough. We've got lots of installations, but this is really tough. Viral overload is going to kill us um, badly unless we can do something about this. Okay, let me just check the wording. Delete any two contaminants on a person add one installation there, yeah, yeah. So, I'm just wondering if there's anywhere else I could have put that. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. So yeah, somewhere like here would have been good. Okay, restock, new sparks. So this is where it's going to be tough because um, we're just putting two flares here. So the first one goes down, creates a guardian. The second one then goes down. Um, no, the second one doesn't go to six because the guardian here. It doesn't go to five. It's going to go to four, which is here. Okay, and that was hard because I really wanted to try and control that um, that partition if I could, but no such luck. So I want to upload viruses again. Uh, vulnerability scanner works well. Hmm. Got to get rid of that spark. I can shift this one in here. I can upload another virus here. I have the right cards. Which I don't. I got. I could do this and upload a virus. So I got this and see no bracelet copying it. Um, let's do that. That's. I think that's my only option. So I'll upload a virus. And we're going to upload it here. We got two shift, shift shift, and we're on that link so we can act like we're here. That's two down. I need to get rid of that spark. I can get a. Um, Green, green. Hmm. Oh man, this is tough. I 
I might just do, I do not, I do want green to do shifting, this is the trouble. So I think I'm going to throw this one, draw back up. And see what Rupert can do now, because this is, yeah I'm struggling now, I'm struggling. Okay, um, new sparks, so. We're going to get two here on his current partition because there's no viruses here. Um, but I'm not worried about them just yet. I don't want them to form a guardian for sure. Um, I do need to get rid of them. got some really interesting possibilities here. Let's swap bypass for digital tattoo. Um, I can reset Spark to get rid of that Guardian up there. Which I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to reset Spark. Delete the Guardian on your partition and add one Spark. I'm on a neural hub, right? So I can act this one up here. So we'll get rid of this, which adds a Spark. Um, I do want to shift that away. Data shift. Can data shift help me? Wow. And I've got replicant jar as well, so I could turn that into a virus. But really, I want three. If I create three viruses, they're going to get swallowed by these flares. So, I can redistribute sparks using Christmas tree. Redistribute any number of sparks on your server to anywhere on the network. So let's play this. Let's send these off somewhere insignificant. Let's send this off to somewhere insignificant. Um, partition number four, I can keep that there I guess. One, two, three. I might just use replicant jar and digital tattoo to buy iteration. Get rid of this, flip that, buy this. I can get three viruses. can't move them. So now let's put that back. Let's think about this. I can get two viruses. So let's do that. Let's get two viruses. <laughs> two viruses.
shift them so I can shift that here and shift that here I can shift again down to here I can't do anything with the yellow so I'll keep that Wow, we're nearly there, but it's not easy. Okay. Um, Angel. Two new flares. Um, she's on here, so they're going to go to six, but there's a guardian here. They're not going to go to five, they're going to go to four. So the first one goes here and creates a firewall. I think there's nothing I can do about that. Next one would go to partition number three, which is here. Okay. We've got one, two, three, four viruses to get. Can we do it? I think we can. I think we can. Because we've got some great cards. And we're on your hub so we can ghost our action. So what we can do is we can't upload here. We can shift. and move. Um, so for example, with Nidam's ship, right, it says uh, you can move from an open partition to any open partition as a move action. Um, because I'm on a neural hub, what I could actually do, I'm just wondering if Rupert's got enough to create two more viruses he does and then shift them he does so what I could actually do is move that one over here um, No, not there. I have to be a blue one. Sorry. I can move as if my avatar were here to here, uh, you know, just as a ghosted action um, because I'm on a neural hub. Couldn't I? Let me just think this through. Let me just think this through. Can I upload and shift? Have I got enough to create a virus? Um, yeah, I can use read request intercept, toss that, buy sidekick. I've got to kill that. I've got to kill that thing. Okay, sidekick. Um, to delete one spark on your partition or an adjacent partition. So let's sidekick this. The uh, root kick is back here. Now I just need to. I can just vulnerability scanner shift that virus in here. Then I can tricky master upload a virus. Here, oh, hang on, still one short, aren't I? So, Rupert needs to be able to create two one, two, 
one, two, and then shift two. Yeah, no problem. We've got it. I think we've got it. Um, I think. <laughs> I think. I think we've got it. Okay. I'm just gonna. Just wondering whether I can get iteration. I think I can. Right, let's throw away um, night and ship. No, let's throw away diversion. Let's throw away diversion. Discard these two. So that's yellow, blue, green, red. Grab iteration. I've got three red now, so I can upload another virus if I wanted to. Or I could just use three movement. Let's go one, two, three. Okay, we're nearly there. All right. Wow, this is tough. Um, wow, live wire voodoo twice. Live wire voodoo. This has come out at the wrong time. Golly, I say that because the hack shake gets cleared. Live Eye Voodoo is the antidote to Logie. Um, okay. I might just finish out this countermeasure and then take a break. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of thinking here. Right, let's see how we do. So, Rupert is going to get two flares here. So, again, we've got to deal with those. Um, two yellow, please. Two yellow. So I want one, two viruses, bang. I want to shift one here, and I want to shift one here. So I need three shift. I could night and ship it, actually. I'll just night and ship it. So I'll shift, shift. I can live wire voodoo. Yeah, definitely. Let's grab a live wire voodoo. So black hat and interrupt. Put that away. Live wire voodoo says um, flip up to three flares on your server. Any neutralized contaminants are restored. So flip, flip. Any more on red? No. I'm going to upload two viruses. Using emit EMP. I can do this because I've got... Um, just wondering if I just need one virus. No, two viruses here because I've got a rep, um, propagator here. I could, I could. Well, focus is going to. Um, oh, no, I misjudged that. Shift. Twice, move, shift. Yep, yeah, okay. Shift twice with focus, right? Shift, shift, which is fine. We can do that. In fact, I don't even need to do that, do I? Let's shift, shift like this. I'm actually going to kick out another virus, I think. Yep. Kick out another virus. And then Nidam ship over here. 
and I'm just wondering whether I should just ghost that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to ghost that move because I'm at a neural hub. Um, that's cool. And stay here. I think. Yep, job done. Okay. Um, end of turn. We've lost a, a live wire voodoo. Uh, never mind. Virus battle step. So we do have a virus battle. Now, we're gonna, I'm going to use. Uh, I haven't shown you an effect action yet because we've been fighting without it. I tend to prefer deterministic play, so I don't use the. I'm not a big user of the infect action. So um, what this means is, during copper we would use this die. During silver we're going to use a silver die and gold the gold. So it's actually a little bit harder um, for us because this has got higher numbers than a regular d6. Okay, it's got more. There's got a number one on there, for example. It doesn't have a number. It's got two. Three, four, four, five, um, six. Okay. So what we're going to do is roll. Um, we're going to face off against this thing. I've got a three. They've got a five. So yeah, we lose our virus. But hey, it was one. It was one black hat card. Yeah, there was a chance. There was a chance we would have beat it. I don't think there's any other sparks killing things. No, no. This spark doesn't touch installations. It's not strong enough. Uh, guardians would defeat installations. It's a strange thing, but there are situations where you could potentially... You can't install where there's a guardian, but you could potentially teleport uh, an installation, or maybe one of the countermeasures allows you to install uh, place a place um, an installation where there's a guardian. So you, there is there are rare, rare situations where guardians and port installations can share a partition, hence the delete installation segment. Okay, success or failure, we've succeeded at Viral Overload. Um, have it one or more viruses on every open partition on Virtue. Uh, salvation, yep, there we go. Okay, success. Add one spark to every partition on Virtue and Salvation that does not contain a virus. <laughs> this, unfortunately, uh, may have actually um, done it for us. Because we got to look at the closed ones, and I forgot about these. Ugh. Um, yeah, so there's a spark here. Let's do these. There's a spark here. Um, everything else is good, but we don't have a spark here or here. So spark here, bang. And we've run out of we've run out of guardians. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, shoot. So yeah, we needed to be aware of what. success condition is going to be. Um, but that's it, that's the fragmented servers. It's a nightmare. <laughs> but if you um hopefully if you've seen this and this is one of the reasons why I show you, you learn some lessons about how to manage these things and you can't afford to let these sparks get out of control. Yeah, I felt we just didn't do enough. Normally this wouldn't be a problem. Just we had too many guardians get created in copper that we um, we just let happen. I think is the is the issue. And that's it. That's the that's the difficulty of fragmentation. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and thanks for watching. See you next time.